In this video, you will learn how to use this free NFL half point spread calculator. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. Really excited to bring this video to you today. I got a free download, what I have pulled up here on the screen, which is an NFL half point spread calculator. And I'm going to walk through how to make sense of half point spread movement, uh, because if you've done any research on it, I feel like it's pretty amb ambiguous and it's hard to understand how, to under how the movement happens, how the point values are derived. And if you use any half point calculators online, sometimes they're just really not user friendly and they're hard to understand. So hopefully this calculator that you can use, link in the description, will make sense of it and you'll be able to calculate spread movement, understand if that spread movement makes sense, if it's, if it's a fair movement, depending on what the sports book's offering. So I'm just gonna dive into what we have here so I have uh, my source for all the, the stats link here, and that is just pulling in NFL scores from 2000 to 2023 regular season. So over here, this first table is looking at the margin of victory by points. So three, seven, six down the line, number of occurrences of that outcome, and then what the percent would be. So three points, seven points for the top two, Margin of victory frequencies, which makes sense. You got a field goal or a touchdown win, per, win by six, 10, four. And I have a table, I have a graph over here that just shows all the different margin of victories, the top 20, and then the percent of time that those are met. And so if we add up the, the column E here, you can see we're at 100%. So every single game has an outcome. You can see zero here. So we had 14 draws over the last. 24 years um, and that's so that's the base and I think that's really helpful to start from just to understand okay this is coming from the outcome of an NFL game what probability percent is attached to that margin of victory I think we can all make sense of that we watch a game team wins by three okay that happens 15 percent of the time and so what we do from there is we create a, a push probability and we're going to divide that percent by two and we do that because games can only end in whole points. So you can't win by two and a half or three and a half, but you can win by three. So in order to capture those 0.5 movements, we need to divide our probability percent by two, just capturing that there's a 2.5, a three, a 3.5, for example, around this three uh, margin of victory. So that's step one. And I said, just divide the percent by two for half point increments. And then the second step is we're going to take these push probabilities. So what we divide it by two, and we're going to divide that by two again, because now we have spread values that there's going to be two sides to that bet. There's going to be the, the underdog and favorite. So if you place one side, the sports books on the other side of that bet. So just recognizing that there's two sides to that coin and we'll divide that by two. So I have here the spread value. So this is our, margin of victory, so that'd be a zero, it's a draw, and then just going down all the way down to, to 59, which was the, the biggest margin of victory over the last 24 years, and having that in half point values. So I'm just doing a look up here based on that spread value, and then looking at this push value, so column F, and dividing that by two. And so that's how we get these percents so if we go to the three, for example, we have 3.76 for the underdog and then 3.76 for the favorite. You add those two up, you get the 7.52, which is that value right there. So just how the, this all flows together, the data. And then the final part is we've got to assign American odd points to that. So we'll use the formula of converting probability percents to American odds. That's what's in this column here. So that's a lot of the, just the, the math, but if you want to follow the flow of the data and just make sense, because if you're used to plugging spread numbers into to calculators, you get a number, but you have no idea of kind of making sense of how that number was derived. So just wanted to walk through the math and the flow, the logic, but the real value and probably why you're watching this video is what we got going on up here. So this is, this is where this is what the calculator is going to do. So you can put in your current odd, your current spread and the odds that they're offered. So I put in minus 110. That's 
pretty standard value of what you're going to see with a, a big odds from a sports book and then where are you trying to move your spread value to so let's say that right now a sports book's offering minus 2.5 at minus 110 odds and you think that the, the team has a much greater chance of actually covering that that field goal spread see so if you bump that up to minus 3.5 so let's say they went by a touchdown you're going to get paid out what's that that movement value so move in a whole point from minus 2.5 to minus 3.5 is worth 21 points and so your new odds what i would say would be fair if you were to to buy those two half points would be plus 111 and i have a note here so if you see movement value positive then that means the sports book has to pay you because you're taking uh, i'd say a lower probability outcome and then if it's minus that means you've got to pay the sports book and take shorter odds because you're taking a higher probability outcome so let's do the flip here let's say that you're you're getting offered minus 3.5 at minus 110 but you want to make that down to minus 2.5 so they've got to win by more than a field goal for you to get paid out before but now you're saying ah, i think a field goal is probably what the outcome is going to be so you want to get that minus 2.5 to capture a win so that's worth minus 33 points so you are going to have to accept odds that are much shorter than the current so minus 143 so if we go down to the table hopefully this will you know tie it all together so we've got our current spread which is this 3.5 and we want to move to this 2.5 and if we go over so we are on the the favorite side of that bet so the minus 0.5 here and so we're at 3.5 so we're at here and we want to move up two spots to 2.5 so that's the 16.26 and the 16.26 so if you add those two together you get the 33 movement value so that's that's how the calculator works uh, yeah that's i mean that's essentially it i i think this is super helpful if you are you know, i would say really just trying to capture some value around the the common margin value so let's say that you're getting a 6.5 on an underdog, but you want to get that covered if it's a, they lose by a touchdown. So what's that worth? That's worth 19 points. So giving up 19 points of value, and that would be a minus 129 new odd spread. So that's that's how to, to work it. Let's We could do the flip here. So let's say we're getting odds of 7.5, but we think that let's do a big movement here. We think it's going to be less than a, a field goal so that's worth 76 points moving from 7.5 all the way down to 2.5 so now your new desired spread would be plus 166. so i don't i don't know of another calculator on the the web that can give you that type of spread movement usually you're going to see just half point movement so it'd be three to 2.5 that's pretty common but being able to see some large movements and be able to capture that value. I've got that all laid out here for you. So I hope you found this helpful. Please consider liking and subscribing. And I do want to highlight one other thing. So if you've seen my channel and last year I had some NFL EV betting model, the feedback I got was it was very manual. So what I've done here is created similar to what I've done with basketball and baseball and hockey, where we have a copy and paste of pinnacle odds and it's going to output break even applied one percentage you can be able to use the kelly criteria to capture exactly how much to wager so this is just a copy paste from pinnacle and then you'll just select the matchups and it'll bring in all this you can do filtering by market with so that's on the money line and then the spread so the spread is going to capture all that half point movement i have it to take the the base spread value that pinnacle's offering and then we're going to go minus 2.5 and plus 2.5 away from that spread and you can do line shopping that way with different sports books at different spread values all using the same logic i just outlined and the same thing for the totals as well so your over unders you'll be able to capture that that movement and so this is all highly dynamic you, you do one drop in of the of the pinnacle odds and all this will be dynamic and you can just plug in 
as you do line shopping, you'll be able to see what the break even odds are so you know what to look for. And I think it's just super helpful. So uh, I do have a link for this available in the description as well on my Etsy page. But if you just want to use this free tool, 100% free, click on the, the link in the description, save a copy. Um, it's going to be in read-only mode. Just capture that. I don't want people overriding and breaking the, the space model. Download a copy. You can use it yourself, 100% free. I hope you find it useful. And like I said, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching and God bless.